everyone. Welcome to Living with Autism by Michael Letman. Today we are interviewing Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Michael. You are Caitlin Con Killen of the AUCD organization? Correct. I am AUCD's operations assistant. I've been in that capacity for more than a year. I see. So let's get started with your interview questions. Okay. First question, how long have you been working in the AUCD organization? Um, as I mentioned, for about a, a little bit more than a year, I previously did more work with um, the AUCD conference and more administrative work. Um, in the last um, six months, I've transitioned to doing more financial duties while retaining some administrative duties um, for AUCD. I see. You've been doing well for that organization. Thank you. Okay, next question. Would you like to share some of your favorite experiences from working in the AUCD organization? I would say that I love um, my work on the conference and also the AUCD gala. I like interacting with um, members of the disability community and other stakeholders. I loved working on um, preparations for those uh, events. I see. You've been doing good with your favorite experiences. Thank you. Next question. Do you enjoy helping people with disabilities during your job? I do very much so. It's very um, gratifying and to um, provide us um, a sense of support for um, members of the community, which I can consider myself to be a member of as someone on the autism spectrum. Oh, I see. So you're saying you're part of the autism spectrum? Correct. Mm -hmm. Just like me. Wow, what a coincidence. Wow, I have high functioning autism and you're on the autism spectrum too. Yes, I, I have what's considered uh, high functioning. Although I've, I've read that um, the community is trying to move away from that term high functioning because um, maybe other people function in different ways, you know, but they might not be technically considered high functioning, so. Uh, okay, well, it was high functioning autism to me when I first found out about it for myself. Oh, okay. But I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad we're, well, I'm glad we both have the familiar interests, similar mm -hmm. actually. We're both on the autism spectrum and we both enjoy helping people with disabilities. Yes, I, I like the work that you're doing with your video um, channel. Well, a channel and a blog website. Thank you very much. Oh. And, I, I, and I like how you're doing well in your job. Thank you, thank you. Um, I must say as someone on the autism spectrum, it was very hard to find a company that accepts me as who I am. And AUCD has been very accepting. Um, I recommend that um, your listeners um, check out AUCD's um, website, www.aucd.org, and our YouTube channel to learn about the resources that AUCD provides. That's the spirit, Caitlin. Okay, next question. Would you okay. like to share the goals that you're aiming for with the AUCD organization? We are heavily involved in what's called plain language to make material in a more um, written in a more accessible manner and also to raise awareness in Congress um, and, and at the state um, government levels about issues that impact um, persons with disabilities. Um, and also, we are working with on a vaccine, COVID vaccine um, work. And um, because I know there is some hesitancy with vaccines, um, with the COVID vaccine, and to we are working on promoting awareness about it's important 
for um, the disability community to get vaccinated. So those are some of the initiatives of um, AUCD this year. Wow, excellent goals. You are doing well for the disability community. Mm -hmm. And again, I highly recommend checking out the AUCD website. We offer, offer throughout the year um, free webinars. You can just go to our pay, web page, AUCD.org and sign up for an event. Um, one of the great um, webinar series we've been featuring is with called the RMP Project. It's um, there are monthly um, webinars to focus on um, the interrelationship between physical impairments and autism, like coordination and balance and how that impacts people with um, on the autism spectrum. You are doing well and explain the organization that you're working in. Thank you, thank you. Okay, final question. Okay. How do you feel about the disability community? Uh, my perception is that there's not just one disability community. It's comprised of many communities, people with physical impairments, and people that might have actual intellectual. And what's great, and I find comfort in is knowing that we're, we are working on common causes, um, whether rec getting awareness in Congress and at, at state levels about disability related um, issues. So I feel very optimistic uh, about the community. You have spoken very well as a true advocate for that community. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I, I see you as an advocate too. Thanks. Well, I always picture myself as an, at an amateur level and you sound like you're on a professional level from working with AUCD. Yes, yes. I've, I, um, yes, that's a good way of putting it. Thank you've you. Done, well, you've done well, Caitlin. Final statement. To my viewers, you have heard excellent perspective from an advocate in the AUCD organization. Um, I almost forgot. Kayla, what's an, how do you say AUCD again? What's it stand for again? The Association of University Centers on Disabilities. Right. They're involved with campuses, right? Yes, um, colleges across the United States and um, American territories. So you're in New York, right? Hmm. Uh, am I in New York? Okay, guilty as charged. Okay, um, the nearest one would probably be um, Montefiore. So we have, and then in the DC area would be Georgetown University and um, what's called Kennedy Krieger. I see. Mm -hmm. And um, have I said your name right, Caitlin Conklin? Conklin, yes, yes, you got it right. Caitlin Conklin, thank you. You're welcome. Well, Caitlin Conklin, please say goodbye to my viewers, please. Bye, it was nice seeing you virtually. <laughs> and to my viewers. We have heard good words from a fellow advocate of the AUCD organization. Please don't forget to follow her and the organization. And please stay tuned for more of Living with Autism by Michael Letman. That's all.